The gentlelady from American Samoa, Ms. Broadwagon, who's the chairman of the Subcommittee on Health and Technology, is recognized for five minutes. Talofa, and good morning, and I want to thank the chairman for holding this hearing on this important issue. Uh, as the chairman of the Health and uh, Technology Subcommittee, uh, cybersecurity is something I care about deeply. And I want to thank you, Mr. Marshall and Mr. Driggers, for testifying before us today. Now, um, you gentlemen have already answered my first question, and I thank you for that. My uh, second issue is with uh, foreign cyber threats. Uh, especially the Chinese are out in our neck of the woods. The Chinese are making massive inroads with my neighbors in the South Pacific. And Mr. Marshall, what steps is the FBI taking to safeguard against sophisticated state-backed cyber attackers? Furthermore, and this may be outside of the scope of, of this hearing, is there any technical assistance the United States may be able to provide for my neighbors who do not have the ability to counter these threats? Um, I'm not quite sure exactly which neighbors you're referring to. We get a tremendous amount of assistance from the NSA, uh, from the agency. Uh, we certainly partner regularly with DHS, uh, but we, we have a tremendous amount of technical assistance that helps us uh, identify those threats and assess their intelligence value, uh, and then come up with a comprehensive strategy to either mitigate them or monitor them. My home district is American Samoa, as you may know, and so my neighbors are the independent nation of Samoa, Fiji, Tonga, and that part of the Pacific. We have a very good friend not that far away in Australia and we do a, a lot of collaborative work with, uh, with our 5 Eye partners, of which they're one. Thank you very much. Uh, I yield back balance of my time, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.